Recently, Tyrese put out an album, and it details his pain and the divorce that he went through with Samantha Lee Gibson. She shares in some of this pain that she's about to describe here. Tyrese was wondering why did the relationship need to end in the first place? It was good. Her regret seems to come into a place where why did she throw the relationship away so fast? Which we're wondering, but let's hear her talk about it right now. Let's go to O'Shea Duke Jackson for the video. If I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No, I wouldn't. And that's the truth. I, um, I try my very best at this point in my life to be what I didn't have in that moment. Um, because I think that I was, and women were like, I'm an extremely emotional person. People that know me know that about me. I'm the kind of person that like, okay, I feel so strong blah, 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 and I can ruminate. I can get so lost in my thoughts. I know a lot of women are like that. Like we're a lot, not all of us, right? But some of us are just like a lot of men can be like that. But I know women specifically, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. He don't do that. Blah, 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 blah. And we're just focusing on these things. And because you don't have, you don't have a certain um, person in your life to say, to check you and say, sis, what about this? What about this? What about these strengths? What about what he's not doing? What if, like those types of things? Um, that's that can that can get you thinking about the positive aspects of this person that you may not be thinking about when you're upset. You're only thinking about what you're mad about. You're not thinking about all the other positive aspects of this person. Um, and so, in those moments, you need somebody to be the, the person for that person yeah. Um, in those moments. And so as you can see, I, I believe she got a little too caught up in her needs, all right? What she wanted, what he wasn't doing, what he ain't going to do, and this, that, and that. And if he ain't going to do it, then I, I'll find somebody who, who, who will. And I'm sure she looked at herself in the mirror quite a few times. She got that little light skin, that little silky hair and all of that, right? Why am I sitting here wasting my time if he ain't going to... But yet, you didn't have anybody to run down all of the great, great things that he were to you. But my question to you is, why should you have to have a friend that will run down all the great things that he was to you? It ain't like this decision happened in one day. In like a drunk moment or something, right? You had time... You had It, it takes time to do a divorce and think about things and rethink about things. So why... Weren't you able to decipher, like, maybe, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Like, Tyrese got some faults, but they're workable faults. And we're guilty of this. All of us are. We, we've done this before, men and women. Me and my family was kicking it not too long ago. And it, 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 it's a weird place where you sit back and you be like, the question was posed like, well, why, why did y'all break up anyway? And he was like, man, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't even remember. The arguments weren't even that explosive to where they're seared into my memory. I don't remember them. And it, and it, and it, and it kind of got to a place where it was like, well, should y'all, you know, in, in my mind, I'm like, well, should y'all have split? You know what I'm saying? And we all, men and women, have this thing where, you know, because we love to say women, we love to tell women that the wall is undefeated. And we, and we tell women this because women are usually the ones that are so much more delusional about where reality lies with this whole thing. Like, they think the grass is going to be greener on the other side, and it's not. It's fake grass on the other side. It's, it's, it's turf toe on the other side. Like, you're getting rid of a guy for whatever reason to go and get another guy that you don't know is probably going to do the same thing, if not worse to you that your old guy did. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and then women think that the more miles that they put on that box and the more kids that they gather in this journey of finding who they truly want, they think that it's going to be a plus for the men in the future. It's not. Like men, while we, we love y'all, we, we cherish y'all and all of that, 
And we will deal with your little gremlins. It is not something to be looked forward to for a woman to come to you with three kids in tow with however many baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? And that can be the result of women acting emotionally as she did and throwing away good relationships just to go get another one. You know what I'm saying? Because you already linked and bonded to somebody. Y'all got kids together. Y'all got this, that, and other. Y'all got history together. And it sounds like they may want to rekindle their relationship. He making albums about her, about his pain. She giving off her regret and her pain. This could be all uh, set up to sell the album. We, but we don't know. But it is what it is. And she, I, I'll give her his too. She says she's trying to be that friend that she didn't have. But my question again is, why did she need to have a friend like this? Well, we do need this stuff, right? And and I'm happy that she's trying to be that friend to others around her. Because we all, we, we, we do need somebody to snap us back in reality sometimes when we get out of place. And just remind you of the good woman that you got. Like, we, we need somebody to be like, bro, you got you one, like... I mean, I understand y'all getting mad, y'all arguing, y'all this, that, and other. The baby here, and y'all going through that with the baby, the time, and y'all ain't having sex, and this, that, and that. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot to go into that, but you need somebody to remind you, like, yeah, but, you know, she look out for you. She this, that, and the other. She got your back. She was here when we did this. When you got locked up, she was here. She was this. She was that. She came to pick you up from here. She, You know what I'm saying? You need somebody to kind of remind you of it, like, oh, yeah, like, she do all these things for me that I take for granted. And it's good to be reminded of these things before you discard a great relationship. And it's like, we like to tell women they hit the wall because they're delusional about certain things. But men hit the wall too. Like, fellas, let's make no mistake about this. We discard some good women for reasons that are not applicable to the situation. And when you spend, after years go past, you be looking like, why, why did I stop messing with her? Now, some of them be raggedy. Some of them you be like, why, why did I stop? And then you go, you call her again, you be like, I, okay, I remember. <laughs> I remember why I stopped messing with this little ratchet wanks here. I remember that. But some of them you be like, hmm, she irritated me in certain ways, but was she really bad for me? And when you have to ask those questions, it's like, you might have threw away something that was good, you know? But it, 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 everybody can bounce back. You know what I'm saying? People can meet each other down the road, hop, skip, and jump down the road and meet meet a new, you know, woman. You know what I'm saying? A woman can meet a new man and be like, oh, she, she'll, she'll accept you for what you are. That man will accept that woman for what she is. With kids in tow as well. Men have kids in tow too. But I just want to say be to the women. Don't don't be out of pocket as far as your thinking. As far as what the position you're putting yourself in to deal with new men coming ahead. Because this is a little extra information. It's not guaranteed that the man's kids is going to live with him. Usually if you're a woman, your kids with you. Let's just put that on the deck. And men, let's not be out of pocket as far as what what we're throwing away for one and then who you know the the type of women that you're trying to get going forward like it's not a good place to be in where you see that you had something good and you let it go i say when people are like oh man they got they did this too early they got married too early i mean in some cases that can be the truth but hey in some cases, it also can be like, if you know what you want, and you see what you want, and you found what you want, and God sent what you want, what you waiting on? Lock it down, you know? Because when you get old like your boy, or like some of these delusional chicks out here, you know, age will open up your eyes to a few things. And I'm just saying... It is what it is, you know. Some things you'll accept and some things you won't, just that and other. But sometimes 
maturity and age will open your eyes to realize, hey, I might have skipped over a few things that were valuable. And I think as men and women, we can all agree that we didn't did this at some point. But it's your boy, P. Cam. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.